Hey guys, so I shared this photo on social media a while ago, got lots of love and a few questions. So I decided to do a quick tutorial. Here are the products that we used. A few Cantu goodies, blow dryer, comb, Denman brush, curl wand, flat iron, and a few rubber bands. And here is my little girl with her hair all washed and ready to go. So the first thing that we did is sectioned her hair into about seven sections. And we did this to make the blow drying process a little bit easier. And here we are with the blow dryer. I'm using my dimming brush and I made sure to set my blow dryer on a very cool setting to protect her hair and skin. Here's what we did. I took my leave-in conditioning repair cream. I rubbed it into her hair really, really good because not only are we using this as a conditioner, but we're using it as somewhat of a heat protectant. So you get it in there really, really good before applying the heat. Once you apply the blow dryer, it's important to know that you don't have to get the hair bone straight, just straight enough to knock the curls out. And then you're gonna take your coconut curling cream. There it is right there. And you're gonna rub that through the hair as well. Now please, please, please remember to get those ends. Those ends are very, very important. After you have it all in there, you're gonna wanna take the hair and braid it. Now you're braiding it, of course, to keep it sectioned, but you're also allowing the product to penetrate. Here she is with her hair all stretched out after we've taken the braids out. Next, you're gonna take your flat iron and just kinda go over the edges and the top of the hair that's gonna be shown. On to the curl wand. So I set the curl wand at about 360 so that it wasn't too, too hot. And I began to wrap the hair around the wand. So I get lots of tip requests on how to use the wand and it really is just a tool. It's a hot tool to literally wrap your hair around. So what I like to do is take the end of the hair, grip it really, really tight and begin to wrap from the middle of the wand on up. Since I'm not using gloves, I just sort of lay the end onto the wand so that I don't burn my finger. What I also like to do after the hair is wrapped is sort of twirl the wand as I release it from the hair. Here you'll see me do that. Sort of twirl it on down. And to me, it gives the curl a little more oomph. So after you've done that all over your head, you're going to have a head full of curlies. What I like to do is add a little gel to the edges, fluff it out, and you are all ready to go. Here she is. She definitely needed a neck brace after this photo. <laughs> but of course, this style won't last long. So what we did was put it in about seven or eight ponytails, and we used flexi rods to preserve the curls. And this is what she looked like the next day. So if you're going to do something special or go somewhere nice, I highly recommend this style for your little girl. She'll fall in love. Thanks for watching. Feel free to comment, share, and subscribe.